so nervous for people this morning. My nephew as well, he's expecting his GCC results. Really? Oh. Darcy's expecting hers. Darcy is, yeah. Stressing <sighs> right now. The wait is over for thousands of teenagers who get their GCC results today. Good luck, all of you. The first to sit public exams since 2019. Yep. I mean, so that they've is been added through pressure. their DCSE career, if yeah. you like, yeah. without that. that means their... they, sat, they sat exams at a time when they probably wouldn't have been at school learning properly, yep. they were doing it online. First year, yeah. Their head was all over the place. Very, uh, very, yeah, very yeah. disruptive. But they've done it, the results yeah. are in, and students have been told to brace themselves for disappointment, I'm afraid, because the government is attempting this time around to combat grade inflation meaning there could be a drop in top grades. Yeah. Now, in case you need reminding, and I always do, the new marking system since 2018 means that numbers 9 down to 1 replace the old A star to G. The highest grade is now 9, while 1 is the lowest and 4 is a standard pass. I got a lot of 4s in my time. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> so now a level 7 is the same as the old A grade. And the top level of eight or nine will only go to the very highest of achievers. Let's go to Crown Hill Community College in Leicester, where Nithya is with some very nervous GCSE students. Oh, God, I, I don't know why I'm even asking this. How are they feeling, Nithya? <laughs> How are they feeling? feeling very, very nervous, Adil. They've had a very long morning, as you can imagine, waiting for these envelopes, and the moment of truth has arrived. Hamza, you haven't slept all night, am I right? No, I haven't. <laughs> but, so this is the moment where you open the envelope, go, I'm not yeah. going to stand between you and uh, your results okay. anymore. So this might take a while. So just... <laughs> Hold on tight. Oh, You've no, there we go. Plenty of support. Perfectly. OK. Oh, that's What are you hoping for? So I'm hoping just for some grades that can get me through to my next steps. OK, and then, tell us. Go on. So Give us the, the good grades news. I wanted, I got a grade nine in math. Fantastic. And I got a, a grade yeah. eight. <laughs> wow. So if you, if you tell the people at home watching, you've got lots of yep. nines and eights, yep. so there's A's and A stars. Yes. Fantastic. And does it mean you can do what you want to do? Yes, of course. Excellent, excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Is Matt over to you now? You've been very calm, but I feel like a slight sense of nerves. Um, what are you hoping for? Um, a pass and everything. Okay, I okay. And you, you're, you're going on to do an interview straight after this, aren't you? Yeah. Right. So it was a full-on morning for you. Go on. Let, tell us what you got. It's not coming out. They're not coming out. They don't <laughs> want to come out. After this long wait, they don't want to come no, out. No, Here we go. Um. Fantastic. Tell us what you got. Um. I can't yeah. even read them. <laughs> English literature eight, geography six, oh, uh, <laughs> language seven, um, French eight. Brilliant! That's a high, high A's, A's and A stars, and, and a B there. Is, a, uh, yeah. is that what you were hoping for? Yeah. Brilliant. Congratulations, Thank Isma. You. And all the best for your interview. I don't know if I could do that. Live telly, exam results <laughs> and an interview. <laughs> Heba, you're next. <laughs> yep. Lots of smiles, um, but I imagine... Hiding. What are you wanting to do yeah. after this? Um, college. College. I've got the grades for college. And what do you need now to be on that paper? Just a pass would be enough for me. So a four. Yep. Oh, is it a four? What's on there? Yep, I think I've passed everything. Well higher than a four. <laughs> Eight, sixes and fives. Not a single four. I think your mum's watching at home, isn't she? Um, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not mum, sure. happy daughter, happy mum. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Good job. All right, well, almost on the last two envelopes. How are you feeling? All right? Stressed. Stressed? <laughs> OK. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You've done oh. very well. <laughs> Fantastic. What were you hoping to get? Tell me quickly before you tell us everything what you actually got. I got. Got exactly what you wanted? Literally, yeah, everything I wanted. So you've got an eight, six, sevens, and more eights. That's fantastic. <laughs> High A's and A stars. Well done, well done. OK, I'm going to go on to your friend here, Mohammed. We've kept you the last, but yeah. definitely not the least. Yep. And tell us, what are you hoping to get? Uh, just grades I can be pleased with at the end of the day. Okay, and you want to go on to do engineering? Um, Something maybe, like that. Yeah. Okay, it's changed since since we last chatted, but let's let's have a look. <laughs> let's have a look at the uh, results on that paper there. Oh, 
They don't want to come out this morning, do they, the results? Uh, yeah, I got I got a nine in maths. So nine I'm, in maths? Yeah, so I'm relatively pleased with Excellent, it. high A stars and A's. I would be more than relatively pleased. Well done, excellent job. Uh, I'm going to chat to your teacher now. This has been an excellent, uh, in, incredibly hard year for all these students. Have they done impressively well, A stars and A's? What's your message to them? This is a recognition of all students, up and down the country, not just here at Crown Hills Community College. It's about the commitment they put in. These last two years have probably been the most difficult for students, for staff. You know, some of these students have lost their family members, they've lost grandparents, some of them have lost mums and dads. Some of our staff have lost mums and dads, but they've turned up, they've worked extremely hard, and today's a celebration for that moment where they've, all their effort, whether it was online, whether it was at home, whether it was in school, and we're really proud of them. And as head teacher, I couldn't be proud of, of all the staff and all the students and what they've done. Absolutely, and so you should be Farhan. Thank you. Lots of nerves here, Adil, but as you can see, it's ended in a lot of smiles. Oh, absolutely oh, so fabulous. Good. Made a really good point. It's such a tough time for people in that period as well, wasn't it? I mean, you know, with, with Darcy expecting hers. And, oh, it's you know, really difficult. It's yeah. really difficult for teachers as well. Yeah. When I left this morning, which is really early, Darcy was up yeah. saying things like, I think I got it wrong, Mum. I think I might have failed English because oh, I think I thought yes. this. And I think, <laughs> and I was like, it really is too late now. You know, you've got a matter of hours you before say, you find out. I love what you were saying earlier when you said, look, it doesn't really matter what happens, it's fine. And she turned around and she says, oh, so you think I'm going to fail? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know when your mum is being positive there in that way that you're in trouble.